Doggy. That's Scott's nursery. Very nice. Yep, flowers, owls and owls and aisles of gorgeous flowers. And there's even more fish now. We are here down in our week and well, as y'all can see behind me, the waters have receded quite a bit through out the week and well, yeah, now it's the massive cleanup. I don't know if y'all can see down there. Humongous pile, that's all debris that they've cleaned up. Also, down in Grand Lakes, the damage is massive. It's quite something to actually see. Like, that damage is so impressive. Like, wow, how the power of nature. And also, uh, Majorville, we tried to go down there today. Route 105 is still shut down, uh, and they had dump truck after dump truck after dump truck heading out, so yeah. So I'm just going to show y'all, we're down in Car Carleton Park, I'm going to show y'all some damage of, well, what's still here, and yeah, here we go. So it's a kind of windy day today, so y'all can see the current is actually pretty strong here. We got pretty big waves actually as y'all can see and uh this is the sign of the ducks place here normally there'd be a trail about where that pole goes all the way down there water's still covering that trail rest in peace north side trail and yeah so this is some stuff we're talking about that washed up on shore eh big branches like that and that's why they say do not go on a boat when the water's really nuts down there as you can see those trees normally water would be still lower down where those trees are so it still has ways to go go down as you can see there's humongous waves an example of damage to sign here cricket sign there even more cricket and if we look on down here and this sign here really got snapped away these are what was the bike lockers can't lock your bike now now this you guys this is a big this is a full tree that was deracinated and came on from somewhere here. Quite something. There's an view for y'all. This is what is Picaroons. As y'all can see, right behind Picaroons here. And as y'all can see, this is all the debris that they still got clean up. Uh, and yeah, it's a big job. And here's our big branch that just floated away right here in flood. So this is another angle of back, so y'all can see. And uh, they made a little pathway so that they could get to outdoor get cleaning, but they still got that right big mess right there to clean up. More big wood. As y'all can see here, Sea of Frecton worked very hard here to get this trail opened up, which is pretty good. They're doing progress. And right there is, well, as y'all know, not only did we have flooding, but we had very bad winds and that tree right there derooted, so. It was for the Scotiabank Marathon today. It says, pay now, wine later with your soulmate. Beating everyone behind you. That was for the marathon again this morning. You thought they said rum. So you can tell how high the war was by those are stuck on the branches. 
As y'all can see, the water be higher than me. Hello everyone, so that's going to conclude it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys all liked this weekend vlog. Uh, it's a good thing that flooding has went down and now we're just dealing with the major cleanup in that. But yeah, if y'all can, I totally suggest y'all to donate to a fundraiser that is uh, picking up money for um, the flood victims. Cause they preen, they need it, cause Grand Lakes disaster zone, like a tornado passed by, hurricane, whatever. Um, and also Majorville, even down here in Sea where flooded, it's quite a mess, so. Yeah. Hope, uh, in another note, hope y'all Mars had a great Mars day, and that, and yeah, so. Gonna see y'all in next weekend vlog, next weekend. Y'all have a good one. Bye.